especially for girls, learn to say no yes. to everything. Navya does not use it at all. We make conversation like friends, but there is a very, very thin line which both Shweta and Navya don't cross. She's the one who started. I mean, yeah. anything you said to her, what the hell, guys? I mean, I'm sure I get trolled. I'm sure people write a lot of nonsense about me as well. But it's never really bothered me or my mental health. I mean, it's so, so easy to be faceless and abuse somebody or make fun of somebody. And my son, who doesn't even have an Instagram account. And I think maybe that's the way it's going to go. Hi, today we are here with the three generation of women from the Bachchan family. Jaya Bachchan, Shweta Bachchan and Navya Nanda. We are collaborating for the first time for What the Hell Navya. The trailer looks super fun. So, Thank you. You know, the, it promises unfiltered conversations between the three of you. So if you could tell us like one thing about each of you which we don't know but which we will get a sneak peek of. Tell us something about yourself we don't know. I'm very opinionated. We know Actually, that. Actually, we're all very opinionated. No, not Navya. She, no, she doesn't voice it's it. It's her podcast, but I think we just gang up on her a lot. I mm. think people are going to see a more raw side to the three of us. These I are think they see a raw side to... Um, no, but the three of us together having conversations. And I think what would be different is because we're three different generations having three completely different opinions. Different, different outlooks, but eventually I think we all... Meet sort of meet middle. somewhere in the middle. I think uh, what is uh, interesting, I observed through this whole uh, process of doing the podcast is we make conversation like friends, but there is a very, very thin line which both Shweta and Navya don't cross. And that's of respect. And where did this uh, idea of the name of the title come from? Like, is this something which the family often tells me? <laughs> if my mother will answer this. Navya is a bit of a calamity, Jane. She, hey. If she's sitting with the, like a, a mug of coffee, which she does several times a day, it's going to fall, it's going to spill. She's all got it, like, you know, her, her timetable is full from morning to night. She's so scattered in like a hundred different directions that very often we 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 exclaim what the hell navya what the hell so she'll tell us you have to come here for this but not tell us which floor and then there'll be you know issues i just want so to she, point out you guys have been coming here for two months to record so how can you forget navya we I'm forget old. you're I'm not old. old we forget I'm old. things we love to push age, age i love to push age i don't remember which floor we are going up and down so, in a nutshell, this is what the podcast is basically. basically, yes, that's exactly As I said, we love to, we agree to disagree. I'm the only one who doesn't really do what the hell to her. Yes, you do. No. When I say heat up, can you heat up my coffee? Yeah. I don't say what the hell. I say yeah, okay. love, yeah. But it's a pretty used phase in the house. In phase in the house. She's the one who started. I yeah, mean, anything you said to me, what the hell, guys? What the hell, guys? <laughs> the thing is, Navya gets bashed by everyone. Yes, in the that is true. Except her mamu, <laughs> and does not get that many hugs. And I think it's time to change. Oh, thanks. She's a big okay. girl now. Yeah, I think it's Navya time is not to a change. hugger mother. No, we are huggers. I am a hugger. No, don't worry, Navya. Before you, I was the one who would get all the flack. Well, now it's passed on to me. Well, I don't know. But I take it well. I take it yeah. like a champ. Yeah. And Navya is a very smart cookie. Oh, thanks. Okay. You think that she's this good child who's getting I am bashed, a good child. taking this bashing and taking it on her stride. But this child does exactly what she wants. She does it very intelligently. Actually, not so intelligent. She does. Okay, let's not open this chapter now. No, she does. She does, Shweta. I take everyone's opinions. Protest. I listen to everything everybody says, but I still do exactly what I want. Exactly. And then we say, what the hell, Navya? Yeah. Because we've already told her and she does not listen. So, Navya, in one of our interviews, you had mentioned how in moments of, you know, self-doubt, confusion, the one person you always go to to seek advice is your nani. No advice. I just listen. She just says advice. Yeah. But you know, why she we are back up? We, we are yeah, uh, watching true. TV or our favorite uh, music channel or something. Yeah. And we are dancing. And she just quietly slip in something. And she thinks I don't know. But I know what 
I know from the way she enters and sits, the actual topic she slips in very quietly. Yeah, uh, but I think but they both, I mean, know me well enough that I wouldn't have to go to them if I'm upset about something or anxious. I think they both pick up on it very quickly. So ma'am, in the trailer, we kind of like, you know, also see you, uh, see you speaking like about how the definition of love has changed. Yes. So if you could just elaborate on that a little bit, since like we have three generations here on how it has evolved, how it has changed. I feel that my generation, there was uh, more uh, submission, there was uh, much, a lot more adjustment, there was a lot of uh, quiet understanding, but as uh, time has gone by, I think Navya will not tolerate. <laughs> uh, Navya is the kind who takes a lot of bashing, she's yeah. very good at it, but I am talking about, I think girls of her generation she, will not I don't of. think bashing is the right word. People don't think we're hitting her. <laughs> we're not hitting her. No, today is not verbal, a time where you Verbal hit bashing. Yeah, I mean, verbal yeah, bashing. Yeah, Navya gives a very long rope. But I think the way Shweta would handle, mm -hmm. and she, uh, uh, very different. So here we have two mothers. And we would also like to know about how the mother-daughter relationship has also evolved over the years. But I was a very strict mother. And I'm glad I was strict. Because I see a lot of things that I said and I did, Shweta do it, but differently. You know, I was like a general, but she does the same thing in a different way, in a friendlier way. And that's something that I have learned watching her and I practice it today with my grandchildren. I think when you spoke about filter, I don't possess one. Shweta has a semi-filter and Navya has a huge filter. Yeah. So that is the difference. When you speak about also, you know, measuring and, you know, saying, is it because of like, you know, whatever you say these days, people are, the social media, for instance, it's ready to kind of pounce, right? What are you, your, your views on this like changing media? I have no views. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested. Yeah. And I don't want this negative energy. I hate it. I abhor it. And I think people who indulge into it, should be really ashamed and look at themselves and say, what the hell are we doing? Fun is nice, but nasty strolling is very bad. Now, I get trolled very badly, I hear, I don't see it. I mean, it's so, so easy to be faceless and abuse somebody or make fun of somebody. I mean, if you have the guts, come in front. The only thing I would say, and I, I try and tell my children, is that you don't need your validation from social media. You should not let it get to you. I mean, I'm sure I get trolled. I'm sure people write a lot of nonsense about me as well. But it's never really bothered me or my mental health. Um, because I don't think I, I go to social media for validation. I've never really seen, oh, I have so many likes or, you know, this picture had so many likes. In fact, I used to be a private account and then I became a public account. And I think it's really killed my Instagram game because I'm like, why should I share all these moments with random people I don't know. Mine has become more like a family album. I just put old pictures and stuff. It's really boring and I'm like, why are people unfollowing me? But um, yeah, so I, I think young kids should definitely look outside social media for, um, you know, validation from like healthy sources. <coughs> this is not a healthy source at all. Actually, you know, it, it, it's it's something that we need to, if, if it's not done at home, it should be done maybe in school where kids get this kind of counseling or their counselors are available to them to speak to about stuff like this. I mean, if Navya comes and she says to me, I'm upset because, you know, I got trolled for this or that, I, I, I won't get it. I, I mean, I will be there as a parent and I'll be like, don't worry. And they don't know you, we know you. but. Uh, a lot, for a lot of people, it is their entire universe. She really got it. Oh. You. You really had a very rough... Uh, but I don't pay not attention. Not now, because, you know, Navya, see, what you did is so correct, is you decided that I am only going to talk about my work yeah. and what I believe in it. I am not going to put anything personal, no stories and no this thing. So, obviously, you've understood 
Yeah. And you have changed your path. I mean, that's what people should do. And I really don't understand. How do you need to share all this with the whole world? And now we can't. Part? And you know, I just yeah, feel I know. this constant need for creating content for Instagram or Reels and stuff. Oof. Isn't it exhausting? But that's it actually a, it's a it's a way for people to make money today. Yes, yes you I know, understand I that. But it's exhausting because it's like I see people, I know people who I see at parties and they just want to get that picture for a reel or they just want to get that picture because they have to post so many times a day for the algorithm to recognize them. If yes, of course you're monetizing it, it's wonderful, but at what cost? Because you're going to have burnout. I've been reading about so many of these TikTokers and all who are committing suicide. I think it's because of this. I mean, there are only so many amazing experiences you can have in a week. I mean, every day you can't have some content that's ready. I mean, and to make your life that, then I'm sorry, that's like asking for like early burnout. I mean, I have my two children who are in their 20s starting their lives and their careers. And I have one who's on Instagram excessively, my oh. daughter, and my oh, son wow. who doesn't even have an Instagram account. And I think maybe that's the way it's going to go. There are going to be people who are going to say it's cool not to be on, on social media. I don't want I don't want it. And I think they'll all benefit from it. Yeah. Because all of us, I mean, we really lived our lives. If we were going out, we were going out and we were fully involved in what we were doing. We weren't checking, oh, I posted this with my, my mates and how many likes have I got, etc. Oh, God. I, I would wish that from like the kids. I mean, to live like that would be That's terrible. what I'm trying to say. It's yeah. a very fast It's too life. much pressure. Absolutely. Uh, so before we like end this conversation, if you have to give like one advice to young women who are starting out in like be it acting, be it trying to set up their own business, what would it be from like three of you? Acting, I know nothing about. I can't <laughs> give any advice about. For starting out your own business or just being a young girl today, work on yourself first, believe in yourself first, you know, find that one thing in your life that anchors you and sorts you out. It could be, you know, cooking, it could be reading, it could be going out with, you know, your friends, it could be watching a movie. I think it's so important for everybody to have that in their day. I think it's called me time now, whatever. Thanks. That's my advice. Now on to you. Think positive, be positive and learn, especially for girls, learn to say no yes. to everything. Navya does not use it at all. Okay, okay. Someone she uh, can I give my piece she of advice? Runs ragged, no, you are not she, at an advisable age. Do this I'm and at least. She doesn't know how to say no. Oh, my no. opinion is for girls who want to start their own businesses like I did uh, I mean you when you start out things you often worry that you might not have enough experience to go out and do it and I think that the best experience is what you learn through the journey of actually doing it and starting it so I would tell them not to be afraid to start even if they don't know everything about how to run a business because I didn't and today I've learned only through actually going out and doing it so Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you for talking to Thank us. You. Thank you. My pleasure.